It is Sunday and we are still doing this airdrop farming update today because there are some exciting news which I wanted to share with you in this video. And we get right into it with the first tweet I found from Aerodrome, the liquidity hub of BASE. And they posted, we are just 12 days away from BASE becoming a lot less expensive to use. And this is a thing we should all look forward to because this doesn't only count for BASE, no discounts for all Ethereum layer 2s because in around 12 days, there will be the Denkun upgrade, which will reduce the gas fees on all these layer twos of up to 10x, which means a transaction which currently costs you around one US dollar will probably just cost you around 10 cents or below. And this already in the next two weeks. So this is definitely a great thing and hopefully everything goes as planned. Next up on today's list, we are diving into the Cosmos ecosystem because Stride had an exciting announcement. I already mentioned that when I did my portfolio update or basically my airdrop farming results in the beginning of March. There I said I hold some of my Dimension tokens liquid because I speculate that Stride will offer a staked version of the Dimension token. So basically a liquid staking token for it. And that's exactly what they posted shortly after I recorded this video. So there will be a staked Dimension token with which you potentially also qualify for all the Dimension airdrops. And they now give all people the time to unstake their Dimension token in case they want to use this service here and liquid stake that I mentioned with Stride. And they will also provide an additional Stride airdrop for all people that are doing that, like we are currently seeing it with the TIA token. Then we continue with ARC. ARC Digital has now the so-called Moon Festival and they will distribute an airdrop to all Pi stakers, TIA stakers and Jupiter stakers or all people that hold Jupiter liquid on their wallets. The minimum criteria for the majority here should be too high. I think you had to stake at least 1,500 Pi token, over 100 TIA token and at least 1,200 Jupiter token to qualify for a share of 10 million ARC token. Everything, for example, is explained in their Medium article down here. So I will, of course, link that below this video as well that you can check it out if you manage to meet at least one of those criteria. Then I saw a tweet from Tabby Chain, which is a gaming blockchain, a future L1 in the Cosmos ecosystem. And they now announced that they are teaming up with Bearer Chain to boost Web3 Gaming and the NFT ecosystem, which is quite bullish. And you can currently still do all the tabby tasks. I, for example, did, I think, one or two videos on that where you can claim some NFTs. Those are basically early adopter NFTs, which also allow you to farm some XP and set yourself up for a future potential tabby chain airdrop. Then we're going to continue with Orbit of Finance. Yesterday, I did an overview on the Blast mainnet, which projects I'm currently farming over there. And I also mentioned Orbiter and now found this tweet that they are currently giving a 50% fee discount for all people that are bridging over to the Blast network. And in the same way, you can earn additional O points, which qualify you for the future airdrop of the Orbiter Finance Bridge. So what you want to do here is you just want to come over. Best case, you choose another layer two network to save some fees to bridge over to Blast. And then you can see all the quests over here. For example, for bridging any amount of ETH over to Blast network, you will be credited those O points and just make sure if it says zero to one, you just have to do one transaction. Then if it says you have to do two transactions to get those O points, you have to do two more transactions. So this is not cumulative. You have to do two new transactions to qualify also for the next 12 O points. Just to mention it over here, because I saw some people talking about that, that they haven't been credited their O points, but they just did two transactions and it requires three to complete both of these quests, for example. Then we jump over to the Bitcoin ecosystem, specifically to Merlin Chain, because Merlin Starter is now doing their airdrop launch campaign. Merlin Starter is the launch pad, the first launch pad on Merlin Chain, and you can now already qualify for some so-called star points by just bridging over to the network, for example, and do those social tasks over here. And you can also do additional tasks, for example, retweet their current tweets or share them. Or of course, if you have other friends, people that are interested in Merlin Chain, you can also invite them to this program to earn additional star points, which in the end will be converted into their own token, which gets distributed to all people that did those quests over here. Then we're gonna continue with quests. If you're farming for Blast, I didn't mention Blitz in yesterday's video. Here you can also do some social interaction tasks and you want to deposit on the platform to qualify for the developer airdrop and also for a future potential blitz token on the network. Then another one which most of the people I think fade currently 
is the Intrek campaign with Starknet. This qualifies you currently for a share of 50 million Stark tokens by just doing those simple tasks over here. So providing liquidity in several pools. And the newest one, for example, is swap from ETH to Stark tokens and back just a minimum of 10 US dollars. I'm also a little bit behind, so I have to catch up with some of those tasks over here, but I will definitely do them to qualify for this future airdrop allocation of the Stark token because this campaign just goes until the 22nd of March. So there are just roughly three weeks left and this time we have to be consistent. And then in the end, we will most likely get a share of this provided airdrop allocation. Then we continue with Intrek because Intrek now has also a mainnet campaign for the Blast Network. One in partnership with Intrek here where you just have to do some social tasks and also log access on the Blast mainnet, which also has no own token yet. There, for example, you have to provide some liquidity and also, I think, do some trades and then you can claim an NFT and this is also done. Then the last thing, because only around 10% of the people are watching my videos until the end, I want to give you a hidden gem on the Blast Network. I already spoke about this shortly in yesterday's video, and I will definitely do an own video on that, a complete overview on Blackwa. Blackwa is very similar to coin to fish which many of you should know if you are around since last cycle. A big P2E game was listed on all the big tier 1 exchanges, and made multiple 100 access if you went in this right from the start. And Blackwa is now setting this up. They are not live yet on the Blast mainnet. The system here in this case, how they are setting this up is very similar. And there are three simple things you want to do right now to get those early adopter roles and potentially qualify for whitelist spots and a pre-sale if there is one. So the first thing is you want to jump on their Discord and check out all their channels. Second thing is you want to do their Gaxi campaign, claim this NFT here. And third thing is you want to do their Intrek campaign, which are just those five quests. And then you can claim this NFT here as well. And then you just want to stay active. So once or twice a day, you come into the GM channel and also in their general chat, just chat with those people to get ranked higher and then potentially qualify for some of their roles. I can tell I'm really excited for this. This is no sponsoring or anything. I just stumbled across this while I did my research on Blast. And I think it has a lot of potential if we compare it to a coin to fish in the last bull run. So that's it for today's overview. If you don't want to miss any future updates, which I release on a daily basis here on this channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you like today's update, hit the like button as well. That's it. Thanks for watching and we will meet in my next video.